So, Jeff, is is there a connection here between the conversation that we're having at this point in our history about abortion and the conversation we're also having about gun violence? It, have we lost the plot as a society in terms of what it means to be pro-life? I think we have. I think, obviously, there's a sickness in the culture. Uh, there's no question about that. There's a lot of parallels here with abortion laws, because we talk about toning down the rhetoric. I think the way to tone down the rhetoric is to get over this idea that there needs to be one uniform set of laws on abortion or guns or all kinds of social issues for all 50 states, for 330 million people, some of them who live in very sparsely populated rural areas, some of them who live in dense cities. I think federalization and centralization, I think putting these things under the auspices of the Supreme Court has been a disaster. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look at Beto, uh, I mean, to me, he looks like some sort of uh, alt-rock guy from Park Slope or something. I, I don't get how he runs in Texas. But yeah, the fact is, is that there's plenty of people, <laughs> especially with Austin booming, there's plenty of people in Texas who probably agree with him. We need to find a way uh, to ring fence this stuff. And, and I really think this this reading of especially the Bill of Rights under the incorporation document that they all apply to states. I think that's really been disastrous for the, for federalism in this country. Uh, I, I mean, obviously, this is a multifaceted thing. We've got yes. sick kids. We've got the COVID lockdowns. We've got psychological issues. I mean, this is a but very, very, have, very you know, difficult know, if, if I can issue. add on top of that, we also have a homeless crisis plaguing uh, major cities Definitely. in this country. And we also have no problem throwing adults away. It's not just kids. It's not just boys. It's not just unborn babies. It's across the board, and we need to address those things honestly, because there's a correlation with all of it. Uh, you guys, I really appreciate you tackling all of this, being respectful and thoughtful. Ned, Kevin, and Jeff, thank you all so much.